Hello guys, it's Emmanuel and I'll be showing you guys how to cook beef and shrimp vegetable coconut rice. Stay tuned. So guys, I've got my washed rice, my shrimp, my coconut milk, my coconut chaff, spring onion, purple onion, chili, tomatoes, tatashi, green, pepper, some ground oil, some frozen peas and carrots. I've got cumin, mild curry, garlic powder, thyme, allspice, ginger and bay leaf. I've got my salt and I've got my beef. So I'll be chopping my veg, then I'll be cooking my beef. So I've chopped my tomatoes, my beef, my tatashi, spring onion, chili, green pepper and my onions. I'll be cooking my beef and to get this stock I'll be using some of the onions here yeah. so I've melted my butter where I'm gonna put in my beef I'll add some onions before I put in my beef and if that's medium heat then I'll add my beef So I'll be adding some black pepper, one tablespoon of allspice, a little bit of cumin, some thyme, and some garlic powder. This is at medium heat this is at medium heat and i'll show you guys what it looks like after now i'll be adding salt to taste now i'll be adding my water to get this top By the way guys, I added a little bit of salt in my chopped tomatoes so, because I'm going to be adding this after I finish the dish and it's just going to add more flavor to the rice. So guys, I have finished cooking my beef and I've gotten the stock and I'll be moving to the rice now. So uh, guys, I learned a new way to make my rice I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it I'll be toasting the rice yes I'll be toasting it I'll add butter to the pot and put in the rice there for like five to six minutes and if it goes well you see the video if it doesn't then you won't okay let's go so I've toasted my rice and it looks brownish now so the reason i toasted it it was because i do not want my rice to get gummy and i do it reduces the amount of starch in the rice now i'll be adding my coconut milk two cups of coconut milk and i'll be adding my stock I'll be also adding some bay leaves because I love the flavor it gives in the dish. I'll also be adding some thyme. Some curry. Uh, some salt and I'm gonna mix this and let it cook the rice is done and I'll be frying my veg and my shrimp then my rice 
then I will then I'll add my beef and later my tomatoes. So I've heated my pan and I'll be adding my butter. So our, my butter has melted and I'll be adding my onions. Then I'll be adding some chili. Then green pepper. Some spring onions. Some tetache. I'll be adding the rest after I have uh, put in my rice. I'll be adding my shrimp and I'll be stirring it until it cooks. So my shrimp has cooked. I'll add a little bit of cumin because I want to give my shrimp some flavor. I've added my rice and I'm going to mix this in, then add the remaining veg and peas and carrots. Uh, this dish has a lot of veggies and I've not even added my tomatoes yet. But to make the coconut stand out more, I'm going to add half a cup of coconut milk. I'll mix this, then I will add um, coconut chaff so that you get some chewy kind of coconut, coconutty, whatever. And I'm going to mix this now. I will then add my coconut chaff. I'll mix this, then after I'll add my tomatoes. I've mixed it and now I'll add some of my tomatoes. I won't add all since we already have a lot of veg, so I won't overpower the coconut. That's enough and I'll mix this. I've mixed it and I will let it cook for two minutes. It has cooked and I'll be adding my beef. Then mix in, mix this. This is how it looks. Then I'll show you how it looks in a plate. Guys, so I'm done cooking and I will let one of my housemates, my guys, taste the food. <laughs> it's poor. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, I'm turning the camera on you. So taste the food.